Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. Um, action-oriented kind of an energy, so it could be that you want to do something about something, you want to say something, you wanna, there, there's a lot of building up in the current situation for you, so I'm assuming it's kind of related to that, where you're doing something more in the practical. Um, in the recent past, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands. There you are, building on something. There is some conflict there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's conflict with whatever it is you're doing. Maybe some people are not agreeing 100% and it's that kind of a conflict. Because initially I see you kind of pushing that to the side, not allowing for that conflict to affect you or whatever you're building on. Um, initially. You are getting closer and closer to whatever it is that you're putting together here. And it feels like it's almost harder and harder to kind of push that to the side. I don't know, why does it feel like one of those interfering kinds of energies where it's like, you just mind your business, you just do your thing, and then you hear this chatter around you, and it's like, no, you should do this, not that, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, initially it's like, okay, whatever, and you keep on doing your thing, but, as you get closer, it's not as much chatter for sure, but it's it's starting to get to you a little more where it's like, it's hard to ignore it. In the current situation, you get the um, Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. So you're definitely getting closer to finishing up whatever this is. But again, a sense of something stresses you out there in the middle. In the immediate future, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords. <laughs> what? Um, oh, man, the, the irony of life. And we all go through the same things almost all the time. Because you're working on something for quite a while from what I can see. And then, as I said, you're getting closer and closer. The minute you get there, and it's like, it's it's right here. I did it. It almost feels like you don't want it anymore. Um, like, yeah, okay, no, this is not, this is not for me or something. Okay. Let's uh let's clarify. Let's see what's truly at play here. Let me do the Ace of Swords. The Devil, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords. It's difficult. What the hell is this? It's super hard. It does involve another energy, at least one more. Um, the end goal looks to be really, really nice. It's just that, you know, as you're building up to this, it's too hard and it shouldn't be this hard. You know, it's, it's, it's not even about hard. It's just toxic. It's not great. It's not looking great whatever you use to build on this and not you in particular just you and whatever energies i see here attached to this it's definitely showing up like one of those things where you just stop at some point and you're like what why the hell am i even doing this it's it's it shouldn't be this hard you know kind of looks like that so okay that's why you're like yeah no this is not for me because you you potentially look back at the foundation of this and if you take a peek and then you see that devil energy attached to this you're like this is all rotten this this was all built on something very unhealthy so of course i don't want this you know who would um for the seven of pentacles you get the three of pentacles the seven of pentacles the eight of swords the eight of swords came out in reverse 
Um, it is a partnership. Now, that could go from friendship to romantics. I don't see it as being romantic, but it could be. Um, it's more of someone really close for sure. There were red flags from the beginning, but you ignored those. Red flags being your mind telling you, hey, you know, something's up here. Something's not necessarily 100%. And you kind of push that to the side, maybe putting it in the in the box of, I'm just overthinking things, you know. I don't know. I see those. I just see them with that flip in the card. I see them being pushed to the side, you know. So that tells me that you definitely saw those too, those red flags. It's just you ignore those. Um Okay, let's do the Five of Wands. The Six of Swords, the World card, the Five of Wands. And it, it, again, this shows up as, okay, so something happens, right? Between you, you start a project with me, right? And I show up and I, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. That's the problem. Uh, I start something up. I start a fight with you. For no apparent good apparent reason, for for nothing. It's just I I just feel like okay, let's bug Scorpio today, and you can kind of look at that and perceive that as what the fuck just happened, you know? What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, okay, it's okay, you know. Ali had a bad day. It's fine. It's fine. But I show up the next day and I do the same thing. You know, it's okay. You know, she's having two bad days or something. And then, you know, the next week I show up and I do it again randomly out of nowhere. And so it's it's a bad month. I don't, I don't, I don't know, a bad couple of weeks. You just keep on putting it to the side as, as if, nah. You know? What's interesting about this one is that it's kind of happened from the get-go. It, it didn't give you that time of, you know, where... I, if I were to interact with you, I would send my best representative and I would be like, oh, look at me, I'm a flower. And then I show up, you know, after three, four months and it's like, I turn into this ugly flower and I start, you know, no, it happened from the get-go. Yeah, the ugly flower was there from the get-go. Um, but you kept on ignoring it. That's the thing. For the seven of wands in the recent past, you get the high priestess, the sun, the four of pentacles. You were so stubborn, though. You were so stubborn to hang on to this idea of what could happen here, you know, the, the potential of something beautiful here, that you completely ignored your intuition through all of this. I see your intuition being right there, loud, clear, anything you could ever want. But you're like, nah, nah, because this could go in a nice way here. You know, this this could turn into something really, really nice. And I'm not even sure what you're basing that off of, in all honesty, because I see all of the energies here and I'm like, I don't see pointers towards that potential of something good. Where, because I don't see those pointers, that becomes almost wishful thinking. You know? Um, let me do the Eight of Pentacles in the current situation. You get the Knight of Wands, the Justice card, the Eight of Wands. All right, all right. There's some nice energy here floating around. There's some equal give and take. There's some exchange of energy that's looking really nice, really promising. So there could be some pockets of something nice at play. You know, it's not all bad because otherwise you wouldn't even be dealing with this at all, I'm assuming, you know. All right, so for right now, it's kind of like, okay, now it's working out. Let's do the Nine of Swords in the current situation. You get the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Tower. There's a sense of selfishness here, though. So, yeah, there's the energy of equal give and take is definitely present. It's showing up. There's a bigger picture to this where you're pointing me towards... There's that slight difference in between putting yourself first and being completely selfish. And the way you're showing it to me is right there at that edge between the two. And you're pushing it in that side of selfishness here. Not you, though. 
not you. You're not saying that about you. You're pointing towards whoever this is at the other end of this. So it could be that you're trying to figure out, is that them putting themselves first or is that them being selfish? Because they did something here. I don't know what they did. But based on that, you're trying to determine where do they stand here, you know. Um, okay. Let me do the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups. I got to admit, things are starting to look way better than they did in the past. The problem is the past is still here. Even if things do look better, the past hasn't been resolved. There's a lot of stuff that happened there, you know, that you dismissed or you pushed to the side or you, whatever, whatever you did with it. You, you chose not to look at it and just bypass it. That doesn't mean that that energy went away anywhere. It still happened. It still affected you. You took it with you. Just because you chose to, to keep an eye shut to it doesn't mean it went away. It's still there. So even if things do start looking better, and they, they are, um, that energy there is unresolved. And I'm not saying go and take the person and be like, okay, we need to talk. We need to resolve that crap in the past. I'm saying, what did it do, do to you? How did it affect you? Have you transmuted those energies? Have you? Because even if you said, I'm not going to look at, at that or I'm not going to pay attention to that, that doesn't mean that those situations right there didn't hurt you in some way. And that's the energy you're carrying. So have you worked with those energies? Because, okay, yeah, things are starting to look better. But do you think those things in the past are not going to come pouring onto whatever this is? Because at some point they will. They're right there in the background waiting for the perfect timing to, to come in and be like, hey, remember that time and that time and that time and that time, you know, when they had a bad day and a bad week and a bad month and a bad year. Yeah. Um, in the uh, immediate future for the Ace of Cups, you get the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. Finally, I'm seeing the potential you were dreaming about in the past. It's right here. Nine of Wands. Because I'm like, you're going to see it too. Are you going to want it though? You know, if those things in the past are not resolved. Because those things aren't going to prevent you from moving forward here. Um... For the Nine of Wands in the immediate future, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because immediately there's a sense of resistance. To, even if things do show up in that potential that you presented to me a while ago, uh, there's an instant rejection to that now i know where that rejection is coming from you might not when you get here if you're not paying attention to this in the current situation where again yeah things are starting to build up in a better direction nobody took care of those energies in the past that's your resistance there you know that's how it's going to present itself you know i don't want this no matter how good it looks why i don't know that's why um i see you willing to open up to those things in the past once this presents itself because the minute you start rejecting this you're also kind of thinking to yourself what the fuck is wrong with me why am i rejecting this this is all i've ever wanted right out of this what the fuck is wrong with me and then there is the um acceptance of i kind of have to look inward and see where this is coming from you know and that's where you might figure out oh hold on, there's some things that happened there and I kept on ignoring and nobody looked at those things and nobody healed those things, you know. For the Ten of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Fool in reverse. I don't know why I have some cards in reverse here, but some of them slipped up. But anyways, the Fool in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Um, I gotta turn this. This is not that I don't read in reverse. It's the visual aspect of it being upside down. I got a lot of things throughout readings that all of them are standing up, but 
a lot of them I read in reverse. It's just that I can't do the visual aspect of them being upside down. OCD. Um, Ten of Swords, the Fool, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Um, <clears throat> I don't see you closing this off completely. You know, being like, oh, okay, this is showing up in something that I've always wanted out of it. And it's great. And now I'm going to reject it and cut it off. I don't see you doing that. I see that energy very much present, though, of cutting it off. But the way you're taking it is, hold on, hold on. Let me take a look at it. Let me take a look at why I'm showing up in this way towards this. When in reality, it's something that I've always wanted. And now that it's shown up, I'm closing off to it. Doesn't make sense. So let me take a look into it. So I see you giving yourself that time and space to look into yourself and to be brutally honest with yourself, you know, um, about the situation. Um, I don't know, honestly, if you're going to choose ultimately to close it off. I don't think so. Initially, I see you giving yourself some time with it. But um, interesting reading. But let's see what the universe has to close it off. The King of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Temperance card. I mean, it's something you've been working with for quite a minute. From an energetic standpoint, I see you being very committed to this. Now, from a more practical kind of a space for you, you're kind of trying to figure some things out here, you know, as this thing progresses. So, again, the energy of closing it off is definitely present. I am not 100% convinced that you will go that route. Rather, hold on, let me think about it first, you know. And then, whatever route is right for you. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's, that's what I got for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.